All right, let's see. So all she does is she sits in this tab right here, right? And comes out. I pushed up. Aha! Did I? I'm good. <laughs> I'm Are good. you all right? I'm fine. All right, uh, welcome back to uh, Mustangs by Matt. I've got the uh, catless downpipe already installed. Uh, I took it to an exhaust shop to do that because the turbo got so hot it just seized the bolts. Uh, but today we're going to be putting in this Mishimoto uh, stock location front mount intercooler. Uh, it's got fully welded aluminum tanks. It's like 157% um, larger fin or more fin area. Uh, it probably weighs a good 30 pounds. But what it what it is what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow a uh, longer time between uh, getting hot. So it's not gonna get hot as quickly. Uh, when you start pushing a lot of uh, a lot more boost, you're gonna be pushing a lot more heat. It's gonna get hotter quicker, and it's gonna heat the, the factory one is gonna heat soak uh, quicker, and it's gonna stay hot longer. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to take the bumper off. Uh, so there's there's little tricks that I've learned uh, that I'm gonna have my buddy here who's off camera uh, help me with, and then we're gonna get the bumper off. Uh, take the intercooler off, put the bumper back on. You may have to remove the active grill shutters. We're going to want to remove the active grill shutters. Why? You don't need them. Yeah, but think of the weight you're adding with the intercooler. You're going to save that extra 8 ounces off the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ounces. I'm adding 30 yeah. pounds. Yeah, I'm going to exactly, save yeah. 8 ounces. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So one of the things that I, I installed on the GT and then on this, ah, the, jack rails. the jack rails, I haven't bought a set yet. It wasn't, I didn't want them until I watched your video on the GT when you put them on and I was like, that looks like a whole lot easier way to do it. It, it really is. Much, much simpler way. You can jack it at any point along the rail. And you're not doing damage to the car. Much simpler. And to be honest, with some of these, it's a freaking guessing game. How to actually put the jack. Oh, it's got an error to tell you. It's got a, yeah, but yeah. But you wind up throwing the side skirt out of whack or something off, something like that with it. Yeah, exactly. And you, the number of people that I get commenting on my videos when I do jack, when I do use the jack stands, mm -hmm. of oh you got them inboard too far, you're gonna kill yourself. Like it's exactly where the jack rail manufacturer wants them. It's exactly where Ford wants them. It's where it's supposed to be. It's where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, that is a nice setup. You just we don't we only have to lift one side. We can lift both sides if we need to, but Yeah, let's do both sides. Okay. You're gonna hear some creaking. <laughs> creaking and cracking and Alright, this is where they're supposed to be. Where 
pretty much. Seriously though, best, I mean they were like 250 bucks, I think. Oh yeah. As far as like a safety item, can't beat it. Can you really put a price on safety? Push pin style uh, pins on this side. You got it right there? Yeah, one there. So, looks just like this. I broke that. <laughs> Hold don't, on. don't edit that out. Nope, that's, 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 that's getting left in. Yeah, so you yeah, just you push go. this in and and then you can just pull it right out. So there's four of these and then six of the regular style uh, that kind of look like this. And this is what I just broke. So. <laughs> Oops. Oops. There's a pin right here, pin up here, and then these three. One, two, three. Same on, same on the other side. Once you get those out, <laughs> You just pull out these. I believe these are seven millimeter all along, all along the front. Uh, and then there's a couple of pins that pull out, which will allow this whole thing to drop a little bit. And then the whole front bumper will come right off. <laughs> all right, so we've got these bolts out. Brad's working on those bolts right over there. Once we get these out, then we've got two more bolts on either side on top. And the whole thing will just pop right off. I like the way you worried that. It'll just pop right off, just in case. It'll come off real easy. Oh, yeah. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Oh, yeah. If it, if it breaks, it's going to be your fault. So, you know. <laughs> well... Free labor, what'd you expect? Yeah. Brought this on yourself. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's drop this one last one right here. This should be. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Alright. So now we'll go up top. Really terrible camera work here. Yeah. I'm gonna fire this guy. I'm gonna reduce his salary from, you know, whatever is less than zero. Well, there's your angle right there. The question is, can you get on it? So, you just, just sit down in there. That sounds a lot worse than it actually is. So just, I mean, there's so much room. It's just crazy. That's the surprising thing. There actually is space to work on this car. Yeah. So, you just do that. We got two more on this side. The exact same scenario. This thing should be ready to come out. Then it should come straight on out. Yeah, not not to knock Bill at CJ Pony Parts because he does a fantastic job with the videos that he does, but I watched one earlier that he did for this car. Yeah. He had a lot more steps than what we just did. 
for like removing the bumper. Yeah. Uh, bumper's off. Just that simple. Right? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. All right. So let's reposition this over here. And then uh, and roll. Rolling. I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary to remove these grill shutters. But Brad says it is. And Brad's holding the camera, so, you know. I mean, if you can't trust your cameraman you as a mechanic, trust. who can you trust? Who can you trust? So, these are all 8 millimeters. Yeah, that's definitely coming out. So I'm gonna grab a flathead and figure it out. So this is actually not one piece, it is two pieces. So you stick your flathead in between here and here, pry it out. It's just like the, the tabs on the other on the on the fender well, only it's bigger and heavier and I guess harder to break is the goal that Ford wants. <laughs> we told them, didn't we? So, uh, for the 2015 to 2017 Mustangs, this is just clipped on with a little clip in the back. For the 2018 and 2019, Ford decided they'd be a little bit smarter and uh, bolted in. So there's two of these little tiny five and a half millimeter, right? Mm -hmm. Five and a half. Five and a half millimeter bolts right here so you just I know it's, on that. I know it's it's a, it's a terrible angle but yeah that's good so once we get this all right so that should Pop right off. We're gonna find out when we get a code and when we turn the car back on. Oh, I'm probably gonna get a code. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is one more. This right here, which plugs into another sensor. I guess that's the for the electric part of the active grill shutter. Now, we have the clamps that hold the intercooler pipe, hold, hold the charge pipes to the intercooler. Got the map sensor there. And then these bolts that hold the intercooler in place. And we should be able to just pull it out. So let's we'll start with pulling those uh, eight millimeter charge pipe clamps. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I, you can actually, I mean, it's. Somebody at Ford was having a good day when they put this clamp on. It's in the perfect spot. I mean, it's turned at the, just the right just angle. Just the right angle. Okay, so. Those two clamps. And then these. I'm good. And then these four. Actually, just squares of the radiator support, right? Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. But I mean, when you got to pull it to get this out, you got to pull this. That's what I thought. Brad, how much of a pain in the ass is this? Uh, on a scale of one to ten? Yeah. That's like a three. 
Three. I mean, don't shut up. Don't listen to Mustangs <laughs> by Matt. Mustangs not, by Matt is a moron. It's not nearly as hard as he makes it out to be. This guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. This is not a ten. Well, actually, you know, when I said I, I was talking about this right here is not a 10. Nah. <laughs> that is a 10, um, sir. Yeah, that, that would be a 10. So, there you go, buddy. Let's so if, you'll, if you'll just hold that, sir, I would appreciate it. So is Albert and Josh and them still working there? Yeah. I actually just took Albert to South Dakota with me. South Dakota? Yeah, last month. Is there a bolt on that side? C1. It should pull then, right? Well, it's hooked up to the. Well, once you get it out of the charge pipe. Yeah, that's 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 because there's as much space as there is for the rest of this crap. There's no room. To get your hand on the pipe. Get my hand on the charge pipe. Oh yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, uh, when I said three earlier, I may have meant four. Four. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, four. On a scale of one to three, yeah. <laughs> it's got those, it's like a... Uh... Hold the camera real quick. Yeah. Antique swing. You give it a shot. I'm an expert, I've done this before. This is uh, Mustangs by Brad. That is definitely not a channel. People would want to watch, especially pay to watch. Hands on the People would definitely pay to watch that. I would. Well, at this point, I would have said, order the hard pipe kit so I can destroy these. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. So all she does is she sits in this tab right here, right? And comes out. I pushed up. Aha. Did I? I'm good. I'm Are good. you all right? You're fine. Just a little blood. Let's just, just make blood. sure for, for insurance purposes here. It's just a good pinch. It's just a good pinch. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. All right. USAA, you heard that. It just went to a five. <laughs> it, started off as a, it started off as a three. As soon as I tried to break his finger, it went to a five. <laughs> it increased. Exponentially. <laughs> Exponentially. Yeah. We're gonna use a screwdriver this time instead of my finger. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first, then teamwork. Always wear shoes in the house, kids. All Much right. easier. Just feel the, the weight difference. <laughs> this thing look, look, this thing by comparison weighs about as much as a freaking beer can. I mean. All right, let's just let's just put them side by side. When you go sheer weight difference, it's crazy. But look at the size of the core by comparison. Oh no! I mean, she's gonna gain some weight up front, which in my case was not a bad thing. <laughs> but by the time you turn her up, it doesn't matter. Hey, put hey. I've always said you know, adding an extra pound or two can uh, save your life. <laughs> Harder to kidnap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to uh, re remove the map sensor, install it right here with the hardware provided in the kit. And this, I think, is a stop bolt that goes like on the bottom on one of these sides. So I'm going to mount, I'm going to mount the camera and then we'll do that. Nobody needs intercoolers. Intercoolers are stupid. Alright, so let's grab a thing. That back. Yeah. It's gonna go right there. Can you grab the dipstick, please, out of the out of the engine block? Oh, there's a new O-ring in it. Oh, oh too late now. Uh well, I'm gonna replace it because. Yeah, because this one has all of, you know, 2,000 miles on it. You might wanna. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't even had time to hey, flatten it all hey, yet. Hey, 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 hey. 
It's got 3,000 miles. Excuse me. Excuse me. My bad. I misspoke. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, who needs a warranty? But anyway. Ah, you voided that when you plugged the access port. I in. plugged the access port in. Oh, I know that. Allegedly. Allegedly? Allegedly. I don't know what you're talking about. You keep saying all these weird things. I ran into the guy we got robbed with like a month ago. Bullshit. Yeah, I see him at O'Charlie's. I didn't even recognize him. The, the customer, right? Yeah, the customer, okay. yeah. So, was, all right, so this is supposed to go here, but doesn't. This is plastic, hold on. You, you get over there? The reason this fits in here is because it's plastic. It's threaded. It's threaded. This? It can't be right. It's you, gotta, you, mean, it. you mean the 10 millimeter bolt doesn't go in the 8 millimeter hole? It's gotta be it. The 10 millimeter bolt goes in the 8 millimeter hole, sir. Oh well, yeah, run it then. I still, I just... I remember that day, like, I, I still see the motherfuckers' faces walking in the store, pointing a gun at me and going... Yeah, afterwards. Afterwards. So, yeah, we were at the bar at O'Charlie's eating dinner, and I got up, he was sitting right behind me, you know, two feet behind me. Yeah. I got up and uh, walked to the bathroom, and I came back, he was like, Brad, right? And I was like, yeah, and my brain, I'm great with faces. Uh -huh. Every now and then a name takes a minute, and I was talking to him for a second... And drawing a complete blank. Could not remember why I know this guy for anything. Yeah. And he turns to his buddy and goes, when I got robbed and tied up the night in advance auto parts, <laughs> this is the guy that was the manager on duty. And I was like, that's who you are. That's that's like, yeah. I, you had, had to play, I it, off, I had to play it off of, yeah, man, yeah, what's up? You know, one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to talk with him. He's like, yeah, you believe it's been that long ago? I was like, yeah, man, that's what, 2005? Those motherfuckers are still rotting in jail. Yeah. Thanks to the, uh, the fine people at the police department. Yes. Okay, so I do have a. Uh, I'm going to readjust this. I do have uh, an oil catch can on the way um, because, you know, the, the internet told me that I needed one because they said that after 3,000 miles, my intercooler would be completely soaked with oil. There is no oil in my intercooler. Not one drop. Not one drop. It is completely dry. And I, but I run the crap out of this car. I mean, I'm, I get good gas mileage, but you know, like you stole it. I drive it like I stole it, which, you know, may or may not be true. You know, depends on when I made my last payment. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you need. Do you need an oil catch can? Eh. Do you have one? Yeah. Do I need one? Maybe. Probably not. At this point, it's too late. How many miles you got on your car? 54,000. Might be a little late. Yeah, it's a little late. Okay, so this has a little block washer and the 45 pound <laughs> this thing is so heavy I mean just just can't believe how heavy this thing is she's solid did you do some data logging previously we could do a, a, a comparative comparison? yeah under uh, the same amount of boost look at the the charge air temps uh, Yes. That's exactly something that I would have done. Fair enough. <laughs> I hate to uh to Monday morning quarterback your uh your video here on your own channel, but <laughs> <laughs> probably should have done that. The, I've, I I I The point I, is before you install the intercooler, you want a data you log. You want a data log to make sure the intercooler is doing anything. Yeah. But but I have been paying close attention to the charge air temps. 
uh, and it got up to 120 degrees in, a, in 80 degree weather yesterday. Wow. So, yeah. So there's that. How hot was your turbo running? I don't know. Somewhere around. If you watch it during the summer, especially during the summer months, you know, last year when we had some of those days. My silver was, head was, was running, was, what it was? 100, uh, 185 degrees. It yeah. was normal. Yeah. Oh, but that turbo will run 325 in a heartbeat, under 20 pounds of boost mm -hmm. on a 95 degree day. It's high quality turbo, not purchased on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to buy those. You don't want to buy an eBay turbo. They blow way too easily, especially. Not that I would know anything about purchasing a three hundred dollar eBay turbo and then loaning my car to a friend who then blew that turbo getting on the on ramp on I seventy five while I was out of town having sex with my girlfriend. I'd like to point out that while all this was happening, the car was previously not idling correctly. It was running fine. And this friend came over. Theoretically. This friend came <laughs> over, put a new mass airflow on it. Oh, uh, let's just get, let's get, let's get, let's get, uh, let's get this on, on film here. Hey, you want, you, want to, you want to film this? Yeah, let's get this on film. <laughs> say, you want, you want, and go to the fact that the car wasn't running worth shit. Hey, 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 it was running fine. I was doing 160 miles an hour, allegedly. Yeah, yeah with, that, with that Speedo peg out, about 65, 70 in that car? 140. 140. And I was I, in, uh, in 1988. Actually, no, it was a 90. What year was that car? It was a 91. It was a 91 four cylinder. Uh, hold on. Okay. My last uh, experience with an EcoBoost Mustang, well, it wasn't an EcoBoost Mustang, it was a SVO, Turbo SVO. SVO Mustang. Uh, well, it was an SVO engine. It was an LX body and an SVO engine. And I I paid eighteen hundred dollars for it in Kansas. In Kansas, drove it back. Hit hit a deer on the way back. Drove over the deer. Uh, <laughs> the fact that the deer made it across two lanes of traffic perfectly. Yeah, and then got to your lane and then tripped. Yeah, fell. And it only caused like two thousand dollars in damage on an eighteen hundred dollar on an eighteen hundred dollar car. But you know, the insurance company didn't know how much I paid for the car. <laughs> nah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, I got my use out of that car, though. Yeah. But I would say so. I, ever since then, I have been extremely paranoid about turbocharged engines. Well, I'm sure the fact that the $300 turbo had nothing to do with that. Yeah. Know? Well, I mean, the turbo that's on here now is probably worth at least one wheel. At least. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. Don't, don't fuck up your premium wheels on your Mustang. Lesson learned the hard way. Lesson learned the hard way. <laughs> Lesson definitely learned the hard way. All right, so that's ready to go in, right? Did you look for an install? You didn't drop the bolt, did you? What bolt? The 10 millimeter bolt you took out. Isn't it down there? I sure hope so. It's right here somewhere. This stuff is heavy. It is heavy. All right, so it's, it's, it's a nice interval. Though. So here, you hold that. Maybe we might have to adjust it. I don't know, get it to sit on something. All right, we're we're rolling and recording, right? Yeah. So it goes this way. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, gonna get demonetized. Not like I was making any money anyway. Here's that 10 millimeter bolt. Told you I didn't lose it. I was able to get this in on the Fiesta because despite it being massive, it was actually the intercooler was fairly lightweight. My uh, 
my amazing, uh, who was that, the biscuit impersonation? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have to run one of those things, disclaimers on the bottom that says we don't own rights to this music? I don't have to do that. They'll do that anyway. Look at that. Get down there perfectly. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I thought about getting the hard charge pipes. Is it similar to the uh, the ST and the RS where unless you're actually running a big turbo, they're useless? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And they actually they actually cause you to lose boost. Um because they are a larger diameter. Mm-hmm. So yeah. If I was running an upgraded turbo. See this black part right here? Mm -hmm. That's actually like one of these things. Okay. To help seal the intercooler. Yeah. Direct where it wants the air to go. Yeah. It's, I mean, these these are already blocking off the the end tanks where you don't need any airflow. So it's keeping it just in its own perfect little. Uh, that that's one thing I'll say. With like when I took the SD apart. Yeah. They did an outstanding job engineering exactly where they wanted that air to go oh yeah i mean oh you're right there you're on it am i on it money well yeah let's just do that yeah yeah bolt her up <laughs> quick ride down the interstate get off on russell parkway come back make sure there's no cops hit it get a quick log in we would we wouldn't do that because that would be speeding and speeding is dangerous and illegal and you should only ever uh go fast on a track yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to only uh we're find a track well we're going to do a pull to 70 miles an hour yes zero to 70. zero to 70. and then uh are we uh can you can you see is that lined up good let's see it looks like it is but i can't feel it is that, is that yeah that's yeah. good yeah, it looks like we're on there. Yeah. Because it's got the, uh, it's actually made where that clamp will, it's got a seat made into it, right? Yeah. It, yeah. So it won't, uh, won't blow it off, hopefully. <laughs> you hear me talk? Apparently so. I mean, you've got that many followers, that many views. Yeah. I, dude, I have no idea, honestly. You know? I wish I could translate Instagram followers. Into YouTube. Into YouTube subscriptions. We gotta start promoting. Subscribe. 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 If you got an Instagram account, make a YouTube account. Make this man some money. Yeah. Give me that. Give me that YouTube money. Cause I haven't made any money in years. I'm only doing this because I love you people. You're welcome. You're welcome. America. It's, yeah, America. Once you got everything in, then you can tighten this down. It's just a lock nut to, or a lock bolt to hold this in place so it doesn't come sliding forward. I don't know how it would. Uh, but after you run a few heat cycles through it, just get under the car, take this bumper back off after a, couple, after a week or so, and make sure that these clamps are still tight. Did you plug the map sensor back in? I did. Wow, can you yep. make sure I did that? Yep, I can see it right there. Because, you know. Let you know. Yeah. Let's get it quick. You think you do things. Yeah, she's plugged in. And then your brain is like, ha ha, you did not do the thing that you thought you did. Um, I'm filming, filming nothing right there. I can't get a good enough angle. I got back back up, so. You're a terrible cameraman. Uh, I don't know how you do this by yourself. All right. You wanna know how I do it by myself? Thanks for fucking ever. <laughs> That's how I do it by myself. It's, it, I mean, seriously, I, I, I wish I had a better answer. It just takes forever. 
Don't explain that you're out here till three o'clock in the morning by yourself working. A lot of the time. A lot of the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get people, and fair enough, you know, if, if you enjoy content, you want to see more of it. So I get a lot of people saying, hey, why don't you upload more? Or I can't wait to see more of this. Or, And I would absolutely love to accommodate them, but I work 40 hours a week, and when I get off, I'm exhausted, and... I don't make any money doing this. I just do it because I, I, I want people to, to see that you don't need a $2,000 two post lift. Generally speaking, you don't need, you know, an air compressor and all these expensive tools. You can do this with just hand tools and a buddy, you know? All right, so sensor is plugged in, charge pipes are connected, whatever this, somebody tell me what this is. I don't know, but it's hooked back up. Uh, this, I'm gonna zip tie out of the way because that's not going back on. Weight reduction. <laughs> you know, when I when I did that video on the GT about uh, changing out the brakes for lighter weight rotors, like about half the weight rotors and everything, mm -hmm. I got so many comments of you blah blah blah. You need to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna. That's <laughs> <laughs> like that's why the car is going on a diet because i like eating chicken burnt chicken and you know fried food and here more boost equals more tacos that you get to eat <laughs> so i mean that's that's see, you know that's the way i like to do it he gets it so you get it and that's why you're here helping me out exactly if nothing else i'm good entertainment well you're entertainment <laughs> oh, smashing my finger is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> the title of this video is going to be You Won't Believe What This Idiot Does. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to change it to <laughs> Friend invites other friend over 10 o'clock at night proceeds to smash his finger on him while removing factory intercooler. <laughs> <laughs> factory completely <laughs> adequate intercooler. Yeah. Nah. It's completely underpowered. He's a junk. Junk. Yeah, you, know, you know it's junk because Ford sells a performance intercooler that's twice the size of it that they could have put on here from the get go, and they chose not to. We're gonna have to edit that. Sorry, Ford Motor Company. No, 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 no. Ford is great. Ford is great. We love the overlords at Ford Motor Company. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I just, I, I don't think we got a good uh, shot of me installing this right here. So, I'm sure the fact that it's upside down has. I'm going to take it back <laughs> off. It has nothing, nothing to do with the fact that, to do with that the R is on this side <laughs> and the L is on this side and the up arrows are pointing down. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. <laughs> you just ain't got to worry about it. You're good. Yeah. See, I make these mistakes, so you don't have to. That's why I leave a lot of my fuck-ups in, honestly. Yeah, it's almost better that way. Teach them how to not do it. Yeah, don't do it this way. Like, when I when I put in the, uh, the um, jacking rails, mm -hmm. I took out more bolts than I needed to. I took out like four or five bolts. I only needed to take out like three. <laughs> and Lesson learned. I left that in the video. And I put a little notation. Yeah, they, they, there was a disclaimer at the bottom. It yeah. was like, hey, you don't have to remove. I remember seeing that. Yeah. It's like, hey, you don't have to remove these. <laughs> because if you, you know, if I didn't do that, 
somebody would follow, you know, watching my guide, follow it and be like, this guy's a moron. He took all these bolts off for nothing. Doesn't know what he's doing, which fair enough. You know. That's where he gets the thumbs down on YouTube. They still do those. <laughs> <laughs> I do not appreciate this content. Yes, you're a garbage person. So, the torque spec on these is Guten type. And you want to just get it, once you get to, uh, uh, tighten a quarter. Uh, uh, don't fall. Yeah, All right. we're good. So, I don't know if it looks bomb. <laughs> this is going to be the worst video you produced yet. <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> It looks so good. <laughs> this one, this one's just for the highlight reel for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, just look at it. You watch Mighty Car Mods? Mm-hmm. We'll edit the music. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Did you see that video I put on Instagram? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it won't work. If you don't do it, man. Like, I don't know how Moog does it. But she does look good sitting there. You know, you know the the black one was fifty dollars cheaper than the silver one. What kind of sense does that make? The black, the the painted black one was cheaper than the unpainted aluminum one. I, I, I don't know. Should I? I should probably electrical tape that, huh? Should I? Uh, actually, does the uh, where was it plugged in at? there okay the reason i ask is i don't want the sts no no you should be fine just i, I put a piece of electrical tape over it and zip tie it up and be fine okay. but on the sts um until Cobb reprogrammed them for the so mine's a 15 i think it was the 13s and 14s you had to keep the actuator plugged in so like guys broke them off the active shutter and just mm -hmm. zip tied the whole thing out of the way before Cobb wrote the map to override it and because it was good thing. yeah it was throwing a check engine light the entire time i'm actually shocked that uh i haven't gotten a check engine light knock on wood uh for that um countless downpipe since i don't have any electrical tape the electrician or the mechanic doesn't have any electrical tape Let's say I'm not an electrician, sir. Mechanic, excuse me. I am a hydraulic. That right there is government engineering <laughs> at its finest, my friends. That's how I was trained. <laughs> at least you are going to clip it, clean it up a little bit, you know. Make it look a little nicer. Make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, I can't wait to take it in for its first service. And you know, no, don't plug in the OBD scanner. Yeah, just leave that. Just alone. leave that alone. I have my own. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know how to scan it. You don't have to do that. Just run Swanson. I know more than you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's, we're done. Um. Yep. Yeah, we put the bumper back on. Put the bumper back on. Put the bolts back in it. Put the car on the ground. You want to. I'm going to start it up real quick. Turn it to stage two. I'm not doing that. You're going to start it up? Make sure I don't bump this real quick. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. Where's the clutch? <laughs> Hold on one second. All right. Fire it up. There's a button. Is the key? <laughs> there's no clutch. What do you mean there's no clutch? There's no clutch in this car. What? And there's no key. I mean, who took out my third see, pedal? There's nothing right here. <laughs> who took out my third pedal? Nothing. But check out, check out that, check out that shifter. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You'd never know looking at it, would you? You know why? I mean, I know because I can tell that it's in park. Yes, but this is 
uh, the uh, shifter bezel out of a GT manual. This is from Barton. So the same companies who make the, the actual the actual short throw shifter actually make a little. That's a nice setup. Yeah, I mean it, it's a lot cleaner looking too. It does look a lot better. I've never understood why. Again, you went through the hassle. It's got air conditioned seats for Christ's sake. Yeah, they couldn't go through putting a nice shifter in. How much was the how much was the bezel in the shifter? How much was this? The bezel was sixty dollars. So their price, $10 maybe? Yeah. Another $10 on a freaking... To put something nice in there? Yeah. Much All right. Simpler. All right. I'm going to go get the key. Is it... I don't think it's... Is it going? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay. Look at that. I love that. All right. And when I am lifted no, up no. on the earth, I will no. draw everyone to myself. I no. think this goes... <laughs> Can't afford a copyright strike. <laughs> Fire in the hole. But th th this hose is sitting there. It's deep enough. It's sitting. It's in the seat where it's supposed to be at. Yeah, so it's this one. It's not as far down as it can go, but it's. I mean, there's like an eighth of an inch. Well, worst case scenario, come back, change it for some some T bolt clamps, and then you really. I did on the ST. I did put those on. I think. Yeah, and then you really don't have to worry about it. The o the OE clamps will run twenty. 25 pounds, give or take, no no issues. At least not the factory ones. Yeah. Well, I don't. I would assume that the ones on the Mustang are probably actually rated a little bit higher. If I'm not mistaken, your car comes with more boost than mine does in the factory. What's your car? Uh, the factory map was running 14 pounds. Yeah. No, actually, not that much more. Uh, a stage one, a stage one would be a 19, 19 to 20, I think. Stage two. This is like Cobb. Back yeah, the, the the OTS maps. Yeah, I'm gonna shut it off. I say yeah, that's you know, the guys never really had the issue, especially with the way that like this one's well engineered enough. With the way the the way it's bezeled down, it's got that big lip that it had to go up and over. Yeah, I think the factory clamps yeah. will be fine. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not especially how how. Where's the original? One? There it is. Like you've got, what kept this on was was these little ridges right here. The the uh, Mishimoto one has this same lip right here, but it's a little bit bigger on the Mishimoto. That lip that lip's about three times the size of that, and it's so much heavier. I mean, like I said, that one weighs as much as a beer can. I mean, just I mean, nothing know. to it. I'm just oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And yes, to my wife and my mother, this is my idea of keeping it mostly stock after three months and 3,000 miles. Look stock from the outside. Completely, well, nearly. Minus the grill. Minus the GT500, GT350 style grill. Yeah. And the GT350 style. Uh, Minus that? Thing in the back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put the bumper back on. Uh, flat bits. 
on the outside of the bumper or facing the outside. So it just kind of goes in there like that. And then you slide it over there. And then you just reach down. And we're not going to tighten it all the way just yet. Just get it. I think I'm not tagging at CJ Pony Parts Oops. on Instagram on the post. I actually do tag them. Like if I if I I've seen where you do that a lot. You do put them on there. If if I buy something from them, you know, I do, I tag them. You know, they are great at what they do. They've got parts in stock. They ship them quick. The only Got this tab. Where is it? Okay, yeah. This tab. As you see can track it back, this is supposed to come back together. Yeah. As you push it through, push it back out. As you can see, these things, these are just this is completely broken. These are just completely <laughs> shot. That's not going to get back in the hole, no matter what we do. Nope. So, 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 and you know, there's some guy watching right now who's like, "You're a goddamn moron." There's a guy going, you guys are idiots. All you had to do was pull the tab out. It would have broken. Yeah. Oh, well. He tried to tell us, uh, he tried to tell us with the, uh, uh, what's the things? How many times? Those active things. shutters. The active grill shutters. He tried to tell us with the active grill shutters, but we wouldn't listen. It doesn't matter what you call them now because they're gone. So you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about saying it anymore. You know what those are, you know what those are called? Weight reduction. Weight reduction. Mm-hmm. Intercooler weighs... Well, times as much. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Saved weight. It's right. like losing five pounds of fat but gaining ten pounds of muscle. That's all that is. We're trying to, I'm trying to zip tie this. How's that going? Well, not actually not terribly, considering I'm I'm doing it one handed because I'm trying to film. You need some help over there? Huh? You need, you need some help over there? Yeah. Give that. I've got 21 minutes on this take alone. Just us. Random uh, junk. Yeah. Look at that. Moog would be proud. This government works on it. Hey, one held the back bumper on the probe for like 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Bolts are hard. Zip ties. Here, hold that. <laughs> yeah, I want to get a, a professional. This is how a pro. This is how a pro zip ties this bumper on. shot to you just see the back of the hand <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope that people watching this particular part will not do what I'm doing I hope Bill from ZJ Pony Parts goes <laughs> my tabs went right back in no problem <laughs> for that you talk shit about yeah. me we love, Bill. we love you Bill Bill He's a good man. Thank you for uh, thank you for showing me how to do this so that I can <laughs> improve upon your technique. As we zip tie the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this to the floor together. <laughs> hey man, I want to take the, the bumper off. This damn thing is zip tied on. Who put this bumper on? A guy that makes ninety two dollars an hour in Michigan. Not, not that we're, you know, uh, talking smack about the wonderful UAWs. Nah. Because uh, we would never do that. They're fine people up there. The the, they're, they're the reason why F-150s cost $50,000 for a base truck now. Hey, I can't see anything. <laughs> I got a garage full of nice lights. 
We're using a phone. We're using a phone. <laughs> Do you know why? Is <laughs> your fourteen hundred dollar camera? <laughs> Yes. Too soon? Too soon, man. Too, <laughs> Too soon. soon. <laughs> you know what? That's a big move on my part. You know what? If, it, if, it, if, if Google would pay me a little, if I can get ad revenue, just ad revenue. Some of that sweet, sweet Google cash. Sweet, sweet Google money. There's a lot of that going around. I wish I could get some. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna say a little prayer. So you been you been to film this for insurance purposes? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Look at that wheel gap, man. You gotta lower this thing. I do need to lower this. Let's uh let's get right on that actually. Oh god, this is I'm <laughs> I was gonna record your face, not even the car. Just, just gonna zoom in. You wanna say a quick Catholic prayer to myself on Easter on Good Friday? <laughs> it's good. I just want to say, uh, uh, if this does end up breaking something, this video will never see the light of day. I don't, honestly, I don't understand those people who, uh, like drop their car off a lift and then put the video on the internet. Yeah. Never. Like why? Why would you do that? Like I'm the friend that would get a hold of the tape and post it, but yeah. I would never allow you to tip post it, you know? No. Uh -uh. A gangsta lean sound like that. <laughs> Think of that three wheel. <laughs> that three wheel action going. Alright. Time is it? 11 12. Okay, sure enough. Mustang's Bob Matt mentioned me in a comment. Yep. Let's, uh, a wheel gap, man. Go move your car. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching that video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the description or in the comment section down below. I try to respond to every comment, uh, positive or negative. Uh, I try to get back with you. Have fun. Stay dirty. And God bless America.